Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on installing a bootstrap theme to your Django application. So as you can see here on my screen, I have a sample bootstrap theme, which we can install known as SP admin. So as you can see here, it's quite a nice looking um, theme that you can add to your Django applications as an example. Now there are many other uh, bootstrap themes that you can install in your application, but I'm just gonna show you a typical example of how you can go about installing one within your Django application. I will be sure to attach a link to this particular one in this video in the description below for your own use. Now, before we get started, there is something I need to make clear. So very important to follow along. So as you can see, I have a simple application here. It just is my first website. It is a template. Now, if I were to go a little bit further and deeper into it, I'll just show you the basic structure. So here I have a Django um, app known, known as web app under my templates directory. I have index.html file along with additional files here as well, but it already has a static already configured and loaded. So in order to watch this video and to make sure everything works correctly, you need to define your static settings correctly. Now this is a very beginner friendly thing in Django that you need to be aware of. So as you can see, I'm loading static at the top. And I also have my static directory situated um, here uh, along with my CSS folder with CSS files and my JavaScript folder with JavaScript files. I also have in my settings.py file from my Django application, I do have my static file settings configured. So the basic static URL pointing to static and my static files dir setting configured. So essentially here, I'm just telling Django where to look for my static folder. So I'm saying, hey Django, in the base directory, which is here, look for my static folder, which is right here. So that is what you need to have at least configured so that you understand how to operate and utilize CSS files and JavaScript file. So that is an important prerequisite before we continue. Okay, so make sure you've got that covered. And what we'll do next is we'll continue with the process and ensure everything is working properly as it should. All right, so let's continue. And now what you wanna do is you wanna head on over to this website and you can scroll down and you can see there's an option to download the source code for this bootstrap theme for free. So you can just click on free download it's going to download it and it will be sent most likely to your downloads folder. And here I have it in my downloads folder. So start a bootstrap. So what I'm going to do essentially is I'm just going to extract all of the files to my desktop. So I'm going to click on it, say extract all. I'm going to browse the location. I'm going to set it to my desktop and I'm going to say select folder and extract the files there. And finally just say extract. It should be quite quick. And there we go. We can now see on the desktop, I have my Django project and this bootstrap source code, which I just downloaded. So let's just close everything because it's getting a bit cluttered now. And let's just minimize. And as you can see now, we have our Django project and this bootstrap um, source code in place. So what we need to do is we need to manage between two of them carefully. So I'm going to open up my Django project here. Okay. And here it's called CRM and I'm gonna go into that project and here we are, I'm in my base directory with my Django project CRM, my static folder, my Django app manage.py. So I'm in my Django project essentially right now. And I'm also gonna open up this bootstrap uh, project here. I'm gonna double click and open that up. And now I'm just gonna move them to the sides. So on the right hand side, I'm gonna have bootstrap and on the left hand side, I'm gonna have my Django project. So make sure you've separated everything accordingly as I have. Now, as you can see, we have an assets folder, a CSS folder, and a JavaScript folder. Now this is all going to pertain to the static directory. We also have an index.html file. And what I want to do is I actually want to replace my index.html file. So here, if I go to my web app, to my templates directory, I can see I have an index.html file here, and I just wanna replace my current one. So as you can see by default here, my one is very simple. It just says my first website. And I wanna apply the index.html for this particular um, bootstrap theme to my application. So I'm just gonna replace this index.html file. So let me just close uh, this up just for the moment. And let's look at our, at our files. All right, and let's go here to web app. On the left, our Django project to templates. 
And to web up here, I can see now I have my index.html file and I just want to replace it with the one here on the right. So I'm just going to drag it and move it here to my Django project on the left and it's going to give me an option to replace it. So I'm going to replace that file in the destination. There we go. And now if I go to my Django project, to web app, to templates, and to index.html, you can see now I have all of this code here all set. Now let's just do a quick test to see how it looks like. So if you go to localhost, what I recommend you do is just restart your server just for clarity. Just restart it, there we go. And you just wanna refresh your page. And there we go. Now for some of you, you may not see this. So what you can do is go to settings in Google Chrome. You can scroll down until you see more tools, then developer tools, which you can click on. After which you want to right click on the refresh icon, say hard reload, right click again and say empty cache and hard reload, just to make sure we're all on the same page and you can close this. So this is what you should see at the end. So you can see we have some links and this is basically the HTML formatting in place. We can see the CSS that we observed here in this example is not present. So we need to configure our CSS as well, just to make sure this looks perfectly as it should. So essentially speaking, let's look at our index.html and see what we're missing. So the first thing that you can see we're missing is we're not loading in static. So at the top, you can just say load static with the following markup, the two percentage symbols and the curly braces. You can scroll down a little bit and here you can see within the head tag here, we have a CSS um, file here known as styles.css in a CSS directory. So what I want us to do is just to make this a little bit um, clearer. So let's just adjust this and separate the CSS. Now, of course, this CSS file here with Bootstrap, we haven't added to our Django project yet. So we need to just move that over. So what we can do for the time being is we can just go ahead and move that over. So we can just move up in our Django project to our static directory. Okay, here we go. And you can open that up and you can see we have a CSS and JavaScript folder already, but we don't have those that pertain to that bootstrap theme. So I'm going to move J JavaScript, JS, CSS and assets all into static. And I'm going to replace the files in the destination. And there we go. So we now have those resources here in place. So what we can do now essentially is we can go to index.html and what you can do is here by href for CSS styles.css, you can just go ahead and add in the following markup, curly brace, and you wanna add in the percentage symbol, say static, add in a single quote around CSS and styles.css, then you can just close that off with a percentage symbol and curly brace like so. So that is what you just need to add to render the CSS. Now, if you wanna see that CSS, you can go to your uh, project here, go to static, CSS, and you can see here we have styles.css, and this is all the code that's going to be rendered out and what we are pointing to. So remember, to be, give you clarity, we're looking in the static folder. So we're telling Django, look in the static folder for the CSS folder, which is right here, and look for styles.css, which is right here. And this is how we are essentially rendering it out because we are loading static right at the top of our file. Okay, so that is essentially the process and how we can configure our CSS files with Bootstrap and hence um, installing it. So we'll give this a test just to make sure it looks and looks and works perfectly. So you can go to your dashboard and let's just restart the server. And you can just refresh. And there we go. We can now see we have that, that that bootstrap seam loaded up and good to go. Again, if you don't see it, I'll show you again. You can go to settings in Google Chrome, scroll down, go to more tools, developer tools. By the refresh icon here in the top left, right click, say hard reload. Right click again, say empty cache and hard reload. And you should see this now in place.
Now, of course, you can remove what's here. It really depends on what you want to do. You can remove it. So if you go to the index.html file, if I were to zoom out here so you can see clearer, you can go ahead and just remove what you don't want in this application. For example, here, um, I have the dashboard here. I have the interface. I can remove anything here that I don't want to keep into place. Also, something I wanted to mention, if you scroll right to the bottom, Okay, you can see now that we also have, for example, CSS. So if I were to just um, add space here, we can see we have JS scripts.js. So if I go to Explorer, go to static JS, I also have a scripts.js file right here, which I would also need to reference with static. Now, I'm not going to go through that because you should have a good understanding here of, like I mentioned earlier in the, in the video, of how static files works and how you can load up CSS and JavaScript files. So the same process is going to apply as we did up here with CSS. You just need to reference that directory according to static and add in the aforementioned logic to get it to render. Okay, so that's just some clarity to give you some understanding and idea. All right, guys, so that is how you can essentially go on ahead and add in a bootstrap theme to your Django application, how you can set that up and make sure that it's working perfectly as it should for your application and as it should be. I will be sure to attach that particular bootstrap seam in the description below, as I mentioned. So essentially, guys, that is it for this video tutorial. And as always, thank you for the support, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.